This is about California Penal Code Section 1473.7A1. It's a statute that permits uh, the vacating of criminal convictions in California. And here's the Ninth Circuit, to me at least, and I messaged Carrie and she agreed, but you know it's not legal advice. This, to me, it seems to be the Ninth Circuit saying getting your conviction vacated under 1473.7A1 will be recognized under immigration law. That qualifies for matter of Pickering, matter of Thomas and Thompson. That suffices. That's how I read this decision. So that in and of itself is a big deal for California immigration people. Here's so, the statute you can go to because the underlying reasons are solely procedural or substantive defects. In this case, that he was, I think, misadvised or not advised about the immigration consequences, making it a Fifth Amendment violation, blah, 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 blah. And that makes his conviction legally infirm from the get-go. Okay. I, I just the land of stuff, random stuff in my head. I remember California did pass it to try to fix the immigration issue in regard to these. And then the Supreme Court or some big court said, no, you can't do that. But is that maybe I'm thinking about different cases and stuff, but is there kind of carving it out here for procedurally? It's okay if No, no, I think now that was a long time ago, that Ninth Circuit case. I think it's 1473.7A1. I'd have to do some research, but I mean, I, I believe it is because this is the statute that I believe came into existence in 2017. What the Ninth Circuit says there is that it's not prospective. So that was no, that was different anyway. I'm sorry. That statute made certain convictions misdemeanors less than one year. Yeah, that's such one that thing. It, about. Such that it met the petty offense exception of CIMTs. This is different. This mm, is correct. getting rid of your conviction altogether. Another mm. thing California did for non-citizens that's exceptionally helpful. But if it's just for immigration reasons, immigration doesn't want to recognize it. And that's what's also important. You're getting these decisions out of the BIA, including the underlying decision here, but also a precedential one out of the BIA matter of Azrag, I believe, from a few months ago, where the BIA is really looking into the papers to see, wait a minute, like I know, I know it said this, but what was the real reason? Was the real reason just to be nice to immigrants? Because if so, it's not valid. Yeah. But to me, and as I read this Ninth Circuit decision as well, like they could have flat out said to the judge in this case, please grant this because our guy will be deportable if you don't. And we want to be nice to immigrants. And if the judge had said, had issued a decision saying, I vacate this decision under California Code Section 1473.7A1, the BIA would have to recognize it. 